welcome back to my channel. So this is definitely a lot different than what we've done before and this is not clickbait. I rented my dream car and yes, I rented it. I didn't buy it because contrary to most belief, I cannot afford a $300,000 2021 AMG 63 G-Wagon because I'm about over 100K in student loan debt. Thank you, college. So we rented it because that's all I can afford. So let me give you guys a tour of this beautiful freaking car. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, this beautiful car has red pleated leather interior. Speaking of the interior, these seats have literal heated massage balls. Yes, heated massage balls built into the seat. You can do a full back massage or you can do a shoulder massage. Like what the heck? And then, not to mention, this was the freaking coolest thing ever. When you're sitting in the, in the seat, whether it be the driver's seat or the passenger seat, and you turn the car, the seat, moves and it gives you a hug. It gives you a freaking hug. Yes, it curves into your body to hold you in so that when the car moves, you're not sliding back and forth in your seat. It's freaking insane, guys, freaking insane. And then what else do we have here? So the Prindle, the gear shifter is right here behind the steering wheel, which is pretty cool because I've never seen that before in a car. Um, and then the navigator is right here, this little dial thing. And then it kind of has this armrest. It has three buttons here with the armrest. And then you kind of navigate your screen with this little dial here. You can turn it and then click it when you've decided what you want to pick. This button here is your center console. A lot of room in here, which is really nice. Plenty of room. And then you just close it up. Cup holders here. It has... On the dashboard, it actually has the date, the time, it has a digital speedometer, it also tells you the temperature outside, and then if you're playing music, it has that. If the doors are not shut, which I will say, in this G-Wagon, you have to slam. And when I say slam, I mean really freaking push that door shut. Let me just show you because it's, it's pretty insane. I was like scared at first because I didn't want to break the door because like, like I said, I rented it, but you really have to slam that shit to get it shut. Um, and then in the back seat here, pretty spacious, leather interior still. The speakers on this thing are freaking insane. When I tell you this car bumps, it bumps. Like I was jamming the whole way the whole freaking way. And then it has the cup holder in the center. Again, slam the door or it's not gonna shut. And then coming back here, it has a really spacious back, I will say. And this right here, I think is so cool, like to have such detail kind of continue throughout the G-Wagon, especially in the back door in the trunk, I think is absolutely insane. And then obviously we have all of our gear here, all of my clothes, camera gear, more camera gear, plenty of space in the back. So if you're a parent, there's enough room for car seats, strollers, whatever you need. Or if you're going out, it fits a case of beer or five or 10, either way. Alrighty, so that needs to be slammed also. <laughs> and then in the front here, you can see that there are multiple cameras. When I tell you this car has front, rear, and 360 cameras, it is absolutely insane. Let me show you guys on the dashboard. So as I mentioned, it has the music here, 
time and date here. It even has digital and analog. If you're anything like me, I struggle with reading an analog clock. I'm not gonna lie to you. So we have digital and analog clock for those who struggle like I do. Okay, so to show you guys the cameras, let's put the car in reverse. And as you can see here, this is the rear view mirror here. And this is the 360 camera here. When I tell you that 360 camera is probably the trippiest thing that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It is so freaking cool. And then you can change the view of how you want to see. So it does have front, rear, side, um, and then the different types of views. You can do a wide angle fish lens, a more narrow lens, and then um, you can do the different kind of alternatives of the 360. And then heated and cooled seats, as you can see right here, it is pleated. Let's put the car back in park. So I can show you the different options of here. We're gonna hit the home button. It does have navigation, radio, here in vehicle. So here for the seats, you have the seat options, driver's seat, passenger seat, massage here. You can do hot relaxing massage, back or shoulder, so let's activate that back massage and you can feel it's literally like a massage chair I wish you guys could feel what this is like right now like I'm literally driving a car and getting a back massage at the same time and if I turned a corner the seat would freaking hug me it would hug me and massage me at the same time like who thought of that I want to know who was sitting at the conference table and said let's make the chair move to the person as the car turns but wait, there's more. Let's make it massage them at the same damn time. So crazy. Okay, and then you can change the intensity as well. A classic massage. There's different massage kind of options here. And then, what else do we have? Let's go back. Lumbar support. The side bolsters. So that's this option here you can adjust it naturally but the car also adjusts as you drive as well so let's take this thing for a spin As I mentioned, the sound system in this car is freaking amazing, and I just have to show you guys. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have to admit, I'm not a big car person, but I was shown that there's a couple different modes of the car. So right now I have it in comfort mode, and then I just spin the dial here. It puts it in sport mode, which is pretty simple. And then sport plus mode actually gets rid of the traction on the car, which I personally don't really need. However, I do like to drive fast. So let's give it some gas. freaking insane.
Alrighty guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. I am super excited that I got the opportunity to rent this G-Wagon. It is so, so beautiful. And I'm so grateful that I do have the opportunity to at least rent it, even though right now I can't afford it. Hopefully, with a lot of hard work, I will be able to afford it in the future. And after driving it today, I know I'm gonna work even harder every single day because this is still my dream car and one day I will own this freaking car. There's really not much about this car that I am unimpressed with. A lot of the features on it, um, the way it drives, everything is freaking amazing. There was a lot of thought put into the mechanics and just overall build of this G-Wagon and I will definitely, like I said, own it one day. There's nothing I don't like about this G G wagon. So I do want to say shout out to Share, which is a company that I rented this from. I'll have all of their information uh, in the description below if you want to check them out. They are basically a rental company for luxury cars. They do have an app in the app store, so go check it out if you're ever looking to rent a luxury car, whether it be for a photo shoot, just to see if it's a car that you like, maybe want to own in the future. Um, we did use this G-Wagon for a photo shoot today in addition to test driving it, seeing if I liked it because it is my dream car. So I will put some photos in this video for you guys so you can see the product of our photo shoot today. But first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your love and support each and every single day. I could not do this without you guys. You are the reason that I am here and making these videos. So leave your thoughts and comments below. Make sure to hit the like button. And if you have not done so already, hit subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you guys know when I'm posting videos in the future.